her, take her. Got her. It hit her just a little bit low, but it got her. She's gonna, she's gonna go down. It looked like a heart shot, but I, I can't believe she's still staying there. Came in this morning, probably what, 80 elk in this herd. Dennis had a cow tag, so what we we're gonna do is I was gonna shoot a bull, and then Dennis was gonna head, shoot a cow. And of all things, it worked out perfect. I shot a great bull. Uh, this is Mind Hunter's last morning. We only had two mornings to hunt, so we got it done. Ryan Clark, high voltage outfitter, as always. First animal down with him every year. We were hoping to do it in mule deer season. We had a phenomenal mule deer hunt. Just had a couple of mishaps here. Killed a bear. Uh, I don't know, we probably killed 10 animals with Brian. He's, uh, <laughs> he's the real deal. Dennis, up from Wisconsin, come out and hang out with us. He was kind enough to let us shoot first. And uh, we're gonna go get our bull. That's my biggest bull ever, dude. <laughs> Look at the thirds and fourths on here. Dude, that bull's gonna score good if he wouldn't have broke his seconds off. That's way bigger than that first one. Dude, where do you think he'll go? 280s? He'd probably make three if he hadn't broke that time. I know, that's what I said. He might be in the 290s. He, just, he lacks a little mass, but he's got way longer thirds and fourths than the ends, and he's got yeah. about as wide as six. He'll be close. Well, it's my second morning here in Colorado. It's the second rifle season. <clears throat> Me and Hunter only had two days to get it done, and there's no better person I wanted to hunt with than Brian Clark on short notice. So we came out here, was on bulls all day yesterday. They just herded up, and we couldn't get a shot off. So we came in this morning. Got on them. 